welcome to our series, Catching Up with Sitecore JavaScript Services. We've been listening to the most popular questions that people have been asking about JSS. And by far, the most popular question has been, can I use JSS with Sitecore Experience Accelerator? And the answer is, today with Sitecore 9.1, you can mostly use SXA with JSS, but there are a couple of issues, so we actually don't recommend it. But with Sitecore 9.2 release, not only will SXA and JSS be fully compatible, but JSS apps will be upgraded with the SXA site management. This means that you will be able to create JSS tenants inside an SXA-enabled Sitecore instance with pre-built branch templates. This automates site scaffolding and does the work of setting up content tree structure for us. The JSS tenants will have things like the ability to manage site settings and deployment settings in Content Editor access to SXA's media handling, access to SXA's placeholder settings handling, and this is my favorite thing, JSS tenants will be able to fully utilize SXA's page and partial designs. So you'll be able to share personalized layouts across your site. So for example, if you want to have a footer with personalization on every page of your site, you'll be able to do that in JSS. And there is nothing special that the JavaScript app will have to do to consume a partial design. It's just integrated into the JSON that's served by the layout service. That's really cool because it enables you to deploy any existing app into SXA and immediately start taking advantage of partial designs. And finally, you'll be able to do the same JSS import process that you're already doing with the JSS disconnected app, except you'll be able to import it directly to an SXA site. But it is important to know that some parts of SXA don't make sense when talking about a headless tool like JSS. JSS architecture has not changed, and that means that you should not expect headed CMS features of SXA like the component library, the experience editor toolbox, and creative exchange and theming. Additionally, you won't be able to use page and partial designs in disconnected mode. So let's take a look at a demo of these features. In this demo, I will be using a JSS app that was built using the code first workflow. So here we have a JSS React app running in disconnected mode. This means that it's not hooked up to Sitecore at all. It's not getting its data from Sitecore. All data is coming from YAML files that are within the actual React app. So at this stage in the workflow, the next step is to deploy the JSS app to Sitecore. So in Sitecore 9.2 with Sitecore SXA, we have a new feature where we can add tenants that work with JSS sites. So what we'll do is add a JSS tenant. And then we'll create a JSS site inside that tenant. This JSS site is going to register the JSS application with Sitecore so that it's aware of it and knows how to serve it. We need to specify the deployment secret so that it knows how to deploy the app. We're going to save that and let it run. And now it's scaffolding the site out and adding a bunch of new items for us under the site node. When it's done, what we have here is a very bare site on top of Sitecore that won't really do much for us. But what we can do next is import the disconnected JSS app into the JSS site that we just created. So to do that, I will run JSS deploy app dash C dash D, C for content, D for dictionary. This builds the application, then generates a JSON file based on any local manifest data that needs to be deployed. And then this manifest data is written to Sitecore. So now if I expand my home node again, I can see that the pages from my disconnected node now have been ported over into Sitecore. And if I expand my settings node, 
I can see that here are some site settings that have been created by the scaffolding. And this is what I was talking about earlier when I mentioned that site settings can be managed from the content editor. Next, I'm going to open the page that I imported in Experience Editor and just quickly highlight that the React components are editable by content authors, just like regular Sitecore renderings. Inline editing of fields and the component ribbon work as expected. These are just JSS features and not specific to the JSS SXA integration. I just want to highlight that JSS apps work in the same way within the new JSS tenants. So what we're going to do next is come down to this footer and update it to use partial designs. Right now, this footer component only exists on the layout for this page, and we don't want to have to redefine it for every page. Partial designs enable us to make the footer universal distributed to every existing and new page automatically. So first, I'm going to remove the footer component from this page. The data source still exists in the Psycho tree, but I removed it from this page's layout. I'm going to save. And now I'm going to go back to Content Editor and create the global partial design to hold this footer. And now with SXA installed, there is this presentation folder and that's where our page and partial designs live. So first I'm going to make a partial design called footer. That's where I will build out the footer content. And then the partial design needs to be inserted into a page design since the page design is what actually gets attached to the layout. So I'm going to attach the footer partial design to the standard page design. And once that's done, I can start editing the footer partial design and experience editor, kind of like a normal page but it's only a chunk of a page. So it has the normal placeholders of my footer, but the data source isn't attached yet. So I'm going to go and move the data source from where it was in the page folder to the partial design folder so that I can use it in my partial design. And now that it's moved, I can attach the data source to the partial design. And now we can actually see the form content here. And now once I save it, now this page design is available to be attached to layouts. So if I go back to my the page that I was editing, in the Experience Accelerator tab, there is a button that lets me attach a partial design to this layout. So I'm just using the app route layout, which is the default layout that comes with JSS and I'm going to map that layout to the page design that I created, which I named standard. And once they're mapped, that's all I need to do. And then I just save the page. And now we see that the page design that we created and the one that we attached the footer partial design to, now it shows up in, um, in the placeholder. And if we go to the other page that we have in the site, the success page, it magically has the same footer content. So we just created that page design once, but it's now it's now automatically showing up on every page in the site. And any new page that we create with that route will also have this page design. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and demo of the JSS and SXA integration. For more JSS news, follow Sitecore JSS on Twitter, and also check out Learn Sitecore for more great learning resources.